wanted to tell me um, a little bit about uh, the event going on in uh, in ordinance with like the barn. Right. Uh, the barn's very excited to be part of this event. It gives us an opportunity to support not only uh, NAMI uh, to fight addiction and mental illness and, and raise awareness around addiction and mental illness, uh, but also to support law enforcement through the police academy, um, um, the police academy scholarship at Zane State uh, that the Andy Memorial Fund creates. So, um, you know, it gives us an opportunity to support the folks out there that need it, that are protecting our families. Uh, we're going to have six musical acts that day. Uh, we're going to have Matt Frampton, uh, 50 Years After, uh, Sharwall, Late Horizon, the Quinn Family Singers, and it's going to be anchored by legendary local musician, uh, Get Shorty. So we're excited to have that live music down here, have, have a little bit of fun around raising that awareness and give us an opportunity to, to help people understand more about mental, mental illness and addiction, as well as to, to help support the, uh, the Zane State uh, Police Enforcement, uh, Law Enforcement um, group out there. So it's gonna be a great day. We're gonna have raffles, lots of things going on. Uh, we'll have amazing food, amazing drinks, and all the things that we always have down here at the barn. So just hope everybody can come out and come out and support this great house. Thank you, Lizzie. Um, what, uh... Well, did you guys have anything special food or drink-wise going on? Um, no real, yeah. Nothing real special. Like you said, all the great meals there normally. All, all of our normal stuff. Let's have the Andy Burger for next year. <laughs> oh, and what kind of uh, turnout are you guys anticipating for this event? Well, uh, this is, how many years we have this, this now? Paul Ford. This is the fourth year that we've we've done it. It's, it's increased every year. And the, the local involvement, the, the people coming down and, and spending some time with their favorite music group. Uh, and then they'll hang out for the next music group. And it just kind of kind of continues to grow. So. We're anticipating another great day uh, and hopefully raise attendance once again. So, Definitely. And um, why is it important for the barn to be part of helping out the local community? Uh, I, th I think if we're not helping our local community and, and we're not supporting things that's going on here locally, uh, and especially in this case supporting our law enforcement folks, uh, folks that are aspiring to be law enforcement, uh, and then supporting those that are, that are addicted, and helping get information out so everyone understands what's going on in their lives. Um, you know, I think if we're not supporting those things within the community, we're really, really missing an opportunity to make make everything inclusive, include everybody in things that we've got going on. Yeah, thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. Uh, you might you might not have time for this, but I just wanted to add a, a couple of the bands that are playing. It, what uh, Jim mentioned, 50 years after. That's Twyla Quinn, who's my cousin, but also a long time prominent musician locally was in the, the T-Birds for many years and uh, so and, and they contacted me wanting to be part of the show and then uh, also uh, John and Hannah Moore have a, a new band with Mike Crane who they've been in HB7 that was a prominent local band mm -hmm. and John and Hannah were also in the T-Birds with Twyla Quinn so they all contacted me wanting to come participate and I just think for, for really to me they're in the local hall of fame for music yeah. and that they wanted to come and play the Andy Jam. I think it's really cool. And I want to thank all the musicians for volunteering their time to come play. It's really a heartwarming to see. Yeah, it's great to see uh, local bands like that wanting to get involved. It's really special. Yeah, the yeah. local musicians are very supportive of charity. They get asked to play for things for free all the time. And, and, and they always agree. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> and we said Get Shorty was a, was a legendary local musician. and. He's played with, you know, James Brown and, uh, you know, tons of, tons of famous folks. But as Paul pointed out, you know, we have those other local musicians that are legendary in their, in their own right, right here locally in, in Janesville. So uh, I'll be excited, excited to have them, those folks from this area that are legendary as well on our stage. Yes, definitely. Day for legends. <laughs> yeah, day for legends. For sure. And Jim and I are legends in our own Yeah, definitely. <laughs>